kind of think about the, what you will based on the information that you're getting. I mean, there are there's the majority who is who is of course on the side of the person suing Vince McMahon right now, right? Um, based on the allegations, then there's Vince just declining it, and then there are like the Tate brothers who are obviously on the side of Vince McMahon, saying like it was just a monetary transaction, and she only sued him once the money stopped flowing. We're not discussing any of those things, okay? I look at the communication side of things, the communication part of things. Okay, let's get going. So first off, let's look at to let's look into how Vince McMahon is communicating, right? So he got sued, and well, he denies it. That's basically it. but it's, that's what happens all the time. Someone's getting sued, then the person's denying it, right? So we cannot analyze that too much. However, we can. We can actually dive headfirst into, into everything that's surrounding it, because that influences it as well, right? And the thing that's just so interesting here, of course, is for wrestling fans, is that, um, pardon me, is that well, Vince McMahon has been like this villain in like, like his character in the WWE. 